In the studios, we have George Metz with GMetz Moving and Storage. And, you know, George is uh, George is a, a really great uh, person to have on the show. And I appreciate you being on the show, thank George. You. Appreciate you having me. Because, thank you so much. Because, you know, George offers a ton of really great and practical advice that you can do, okay, when you're moving, when you're getting ready to move. Even if you're not using a realtor, you can take some of what he says. And you can check out his segments um, on the video section as well. Just scroll through the video page on the roundtableradio.com. Scroll through that and uh, check out, you know, you can see the titles there and whatnot. And check out the moving things. You might get some ideas. But uh, today we're talking about how to move in inclement weather. Correct. It's a perfect subject. Yeah, with the uh, with the last few weeks that we've had with all the rain um, and the winter coming up, fast approaching, uh, we definitely want to have um, all of our customers prepared and ready to go, especially uh, if you're using a professional, if you're doing it yourself, or you're using another company, you really want to take the time to prep what's going on and be prepared and know what's going to happen if you are moving on a rainy day or snowy or just that that bad weather that's going to happen out there. Oh yeah, and you know, in New England is uh famous for crappy weather. Yeah. So <laughs> we also got some of the best weather too though. So I'm not complaining. No, no. This this uh this summer we had a great summer. Uh, a lot of hot days, but uh the the biggest thing that that we're seeing now is all that rain that we missed out on the summer is <laughs> is landing now. Yeah. Um so a lot of the things that we do to prepare uh, on a rainy day, one we always wrap all the furniture. That that's no matter if it's raining With or snowy. Uh, we use pads. They're they're a uh, oh, those. A, a quilted blanket, mm -hmm. um, very thick pad uh, that protects just from regular damage during the move. It also has somewhat of a layer of protection for precipitation, whether it's snow or rain. But we go the extra mile when it is raining or or if it is snowing, sleeting, anything like that. We use shrink wrap. So we'll shrink wrap the top to really keep the weather off of the blanket so that way it doesn't you know saturate into the furniture whether it's a wood piece or a mm -hmm. fabric piece you truly don't want that water getting to your furniture so i don't know if you know this george but i used to work uh for a moving company and we used to call those those pads yep jail blankets <laughs> and, and and some of them look like the blankets they give uh prisoners in jail and it's it's made out of like recycled materials it looks like the fire retardant material yes it, it looks like that um ours do not come from the prison um <laughs> <laughs> no but uh the the pads that we use are are a quilted material so so um you know you you look at one of your blankets at home and you have all that fluff in it and that, that recycled material that you're yeah. talking about, that is all in between. And then it's stitched and wove in a certain pattern where it's very strong, very durable. Um, and that helps, again, keep the keep just regular dirt off of it to just regular damage of, of moving it. You don't yeah. want to put it into a truck without pr proper protection. Uh, so that's that's why we use those pads on a regular basis. There is no additional charge for however many blankets we use. They're mm -hmm. just on the truck standard. Um, but that is something that you definitely want to make sure if you're hiring a professional that they're coming in with pads, they're wrapping things, they're protecting it because, again, it's your belongings. You don't want to have it all damaged. So, George, I've, I've personally moved, you know, myself before, okay, yep. and uh, I'm never going to do it again, okay? But I went to U-Haul. I got a U-Haul truck, right? Yep. Racked up the miles on that thing. I bought a ton of those blankets. Well, rented them, rented the dolly, rented this, rented that, bought beers, bought pizza, all of that, and all together, we were probably only a couple hundred dollars away from probably what you could have done the move for. Correct. And when I was done, I was like, I'm an idiot. I'm an <laughs> idiot because now my back hurts. Yep. Now I'm just going to complain and cry all next day. No, I won't. But now I'm just going to feel like garbage the whole next day. And um, and you guys are pros. You guys know how to lift the stuff. You're insured. You guys do this every day. And uh, you wouldn't have had a hard time. Actually, we just contracted you to yes. get the couch out of my fiance's house. Yep. And we couldn't do it. Yep. And she wanted to move without a mover. And I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Contact George. And, and we did. We ended up having to have you guys come take her stuff down. So, um, you know, basically what I was just trying to get at here was really, really count all the in-between-the-lines expenses here. Right. Um, and, and really then then compare. And, of course, you're going to be paying a little bit more to have a mover do it. But it's worth its weight in gold. you you, you got to figure they're probably not going to destroy half the stuff that your friends will. 
Correct. You, Correct. You know, or, or the worst case is what happens if one of your friends get get injured or or something happens to one of your your favorite pieces that was a grandparents or something. That friendship is great, but what happens if that happens? You know, that that's always the question I ask people when they say, "Well, we're going to do all the boxes ourselves," which is great. If you want to do that, you can do that. Go for it. But the thing is. At the end of the day, like you said, is it worth going out and getting a rental truck, grabbing some beers for your friends, grabbing the pizza? You have the rental truck for two days because you mismanaged time, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's racking up the bill. Where yeah. we could have it done, you know, within a few hours during the normal course of the move. Um, so those are the things that you definitely want to pay attention to um, when you're looking to to do it yourself. Um, I love seeing do-it-yourselfers on the highway with their pickup truck and everything bungeed down. Go for it, but just just be very careful when you're doing it. Um, you know the the highways and, and roads uh, are not equipped for a pickup truck with a whole bunch of stuff hanging over the edge. So just uh, just make sure you're really tying things down if you're going to do it yourself. And um, if not, just give us a call. We'd be happy to give you a free estimate over the phone, or we can always come out and visit uh, directly at your location to give you a. a much better idea of what it's going to cost. I heard that we're supposed to get um, a pretty devastating winter. Yes. And, yes. you know, and the meteorologists, guys, they have a hard job. Everybody picks on them all the time, but they're wrong a lot because they it's just so hard to predict the weather. One, a butterfly flapping their wings <laughs> in Japan could change our effect over here. You know, like the butterfly effect. You guys ever hear yep, that? Yep. But I, I don't know <laughs> if that's true, that theory, but it could be. Who knows? The world's all connected. But Anyways, if we do have an awful winter, you don't want to mess around with the liability of having somebody slip on ice, um, breaking stuff. Right, right. It, so, so what we do, um, I know with our company, one, we have ice melt, ice picks, shovels, and um, sand in our trucks when it gets to that time of the year. Yeah. So if needed, we can prep the surface. But what we always suggest, um, if there may be a snowstorm or if you know there's going to be one, try to pre-treat the area that we're going to have a walking path out of the home, whether you're using sand, ice melt. Um, you just want to prep the location. That way, when the guys get there, you're not paying the movers to remove snow or move it out of the way. Yeah. They can just get right to their job and, and be very efficient at the move itself. Um, you know, unfortunately, last year, uh, well, fortunately, last year, it wasn't that bad of a winter, but there was a few areas where there was a lot of ice so, you know, it took about two hours just to clear a path of, of chucking the ice out of the way. Um, you know, customers don't want to pay for that. We don't want customers to have to pay us for that. We'd just rather have it sanded, um, iced, uh, ice melt put down. And it just, again, makes our, our moving part of it very easy, very seamless. And that way, again, we can just get right to the job at hand mm -hmm. instead of clearing a path.